Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today on this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a new marathon by Jeffrey. Thank you Jeff so much for sponsoring this marathon. Um, I can't wait, there's a lot of uh, exciting bands on here. Uh, three of them I know, I mean, pretty well, you know, throughout the uh, the last year or two. So I'm super excited to do this. So there's a lot of information that Jeffrey provided for this marathon. Again, thank you for sponsoring this. And um, thanks everybody else for being here, for watching these and enjoying them. Uh, this is called Beautifully Acoustic. Um, and I'm pretty sure I haven't heard any of these songs um, just by the titles. I looked them up. There's nothing that I, that, you know, sounded, um, the, uh, that, uh, yeah, that reminded me of, of something I'd heard before. So, um, uh, so Jeffrey, um, did provide some info here that, which I'm going to, that I'm going to read. So we're going to start it off with Helplessly Hoping by Crosby, Stills and Nash from 1969 album Crosby, Stills and Nash. Uh, this song is famous for its three-part harmony and uh, alliteration. The words start with the same letter. All right, cool. So we're going to do that first. And then, uh, you know what? Let's just start with the marathon. And then once we go to the second song and third and fourth and fifth, I'm going to read what, what Jeff provided us with here. All right, so let's, 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 uh, let's uh, get into it. Again, thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoy. And... Um, Thanks, Jeff, for, for getting in touch with me to do this. So here we go with Helplessly Hoping from 1969. Here we go. I love, first of all, it reminded me a little bit the guitar, um, the arpeggio, the arpeggio, the, well, yeah, arpeggiating. It's not an arpeggio, but the chords, um, it reminded me a little bit of Dust and the Wind, um, maybe might have influenced the song. I don't know, but the, I don't know, um, 
the harmonies. There are three harmonies. So I think it's the, uh, the original, you know, uh, note and then the minor third. And I think the octave, but I'm going to look it up. Um, Let's see. Um, there they are. <clears throat> Does it say? No, this is just like how to record it, but I would like to know, you know, how they, well, it, it, you know, um, no, I mean, I'm sure it's on there, but uh, I can't find it right now, but well, um, let's continue with, uh, Dan Bogelberg, um, Fogelberg, and we're going to do only the heart may know. Um, uh, and then this is with a, uh, a duo with M Emmy Lau Harris. All right, here we go with, um, this is from, um, 1981, the innocent age and, uh, Dan Fogelberg. There are some so uh, great reactions that we've done by myself with Alexia, uh, beautiful, beautiful just composer so i can't wait for this here we go oh wait 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 um i almost forgot um there's some stuff uh that jeff um added to this so um only the heart may know by dan vogelberg duet with Emmy Lou Harris from 1981, <laughs> an 80-minute double album, The Innocent Age, was sold over 2 million copies. This beautiful lullaby has such a great lyrics, um, has such great lyrics about growing older and what might be on the other side. So let me put on the lyrics. Thank you for, for pointing that out. Here we go. Silent sea, tell this to me. Where are the children that we used to be? That picture shows when nobody goes, and only the heart. Starry skies, soft lullabies. Where do they go when their melody dies? To a day far, far away that all. Friends. 
soft lullabies where do they go when their melody dies to a day far far away that only the heart may know that Like, you know, that one took me a little bit more <laughs> to hold it together. Um, beautiful, again, the way they harmonize and even the... Ah, ah, and then the way they go down and up together in perfect pitch, beautiful. And the lyrics, of course, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I always thought my mom, you know, when she would tell me, oh, you'll see, you know, when you get older, time moves very fast. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> um, I wouldn't, I was just like, yeah, no, no, I'm not buying it. And now, like, yeah, I totally feel it. You know, it's, it's so funny. Today I called my mom and we talked about two hours she finally has her phone, her own phone again, and she knows how to operate it, and it's wonderful. Um, and we talked, and we talked, and and she is getting to that age now where she's getting a little bit more forgetful and stuff, but she's still perfect. But, and she talks about things, you know, like, oh, you know, getting older, it's like not fun. And and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know you've told, you've been telling me, you know, for a long time, but now... Now I'm, you know, now I believe you. Um, now, not not that I never believed her. I mean, I knew, but it was like, it wasn't on my, I didn't feel it, you know. Time was just endless. When you're in your teens and 20s, time is just endless, you know. A day lasts forever. Now a day is like, I have to like, oh my God, the day's almost over, you know. Um, yeah, it's a struggle, you know, and... Uh, but it's all part of, you know, being alive. And and I, I thank the universe and God, you know, for that every day. Um, you know, so, okay. So next band, um, this was beautiful, by the way. And both songs so far have been just like, ah, wonderful, wonderful collection. Thank you so much, uh, Jeffrey. Okay, this is a diary. Uh, from uh, the band Bread. Um, if it's Breed, I'm going to literally like lose it. But I think it's Bread. Um, it's obviously Bread. Uh, baby, I'm a, I'm a Want You um, is the album from 1972. And uh, there, here we go with a Diary. Oh, Almost, I have to have to pull it. I have to have it pulled up here. Um, Diary is uh, by Brett from 1972 album Baby. I'm a want you, a beautiful song, so, song sung by David Gates about a man who assumes he's the love interest in his diary he has found and read. Assumptions can be wrong. Okay, here we go. I found a diary underneath the tree And started reading about me The words she'd written took me by surprise Beautiful You'd never read them in her eyes They said that she had
show it. Then she confronted with the writing there. Simply pretended not to care. I passed it off as just in keeping with her total disconcerting air. And though she tried to she denied Wouldn't you know it She wouldn't show it And as I go And started reading about me The words began to stick and tears to flow Her meaning now was clear to see The love she'd waited for Was someone else, not me Wouldn't you know She wouldn't show it And as I go through my life I will wish for her his wife All the sweet things she can find All the sweet things they can find What are you doing to me? <laughs> Beautiful lyrics. And also, like, I love that at the end, he's just like, you know, I just want her to be happy, even though she's not with me. That's a real man, you know, to accept, you know, it's not me, but whoever it may be, I want them to be happy. That's cool. I love it. Very old school way of thinking, you know, I think respectful, you know, very good. Ah, oh, man, beautiful. Just, uh, you know, the again, the harmonies, like this is very hard. The whole, the, the harmonies and these are so good. And it's only acoustic music, you know, this is after all, you know, um, you know, Jeffrey called this a beautifully acoustic marathon. Um, okay. Next one. Oh, it's like I have to like literally like pull myself together here. Um, okay. This is um, Vincent by Don Lean from 1972 album American Pie. In 1970, Don Lean had a job singing in the school system, playing guitar in classrooms. He was sitting on the veranda one morning reading a biography of Vincent van Gogh. And suddenly he knew he want, he had to write a song arguing that Van Gogh wasn't crazy. He had an illness and did, um, as did his brother Theo. This makes it different to the garden variety of crazy. So he sat down with a print of Van Gogh's painting, Starry Night, and wrote the lyrics out on a paper bag. That's so cool. Thank you so much for that, uh, Jeff, because... Now the song makes so much more, you know, you know, um, sense. Let's, let's listen to it. Here we go with Vincent. Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and gray. Look out on a summer's day with eyes that know the darkness in my soul. Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land 
Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Weathered faces lined in pain Are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now For they could not love you But still your love was true And when no hope was left inside On that starry, starry night You took your life as lovers often do But I could have told you, Vincent This world was never meant for one as beautiful as you Starry, starry night Portraits hung in empty halls Frameless heads on nameless walls With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Like the strangers that you've met The ragged men in ragged clothes A silver thorn, a bloody rose Lie crushed and broken on the virgin snow Now I think I know What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they're not listening still Perhaps they never What a beautiful song. Um, the chords, the the way he's playing it also. Like, I love how the tempo goes down a little bit, you know, depending on the phrasing of the lyrics. A lot of lyrics, you know, very long song to remember, you know, just to, I mean, that's great story and, and thank you i wouldn't have understood the lyrics at all if i if you wouldn't have given me you know the the backstory about this i would have i wouldn't have known what what they're you know talking about so thank you that was very and i'm i'm happy that i you know i was reading along the lyrics um beautiful beautiful arrangement beautiful playing and uh, yeah i mean sometimes you don't even need more than you know just your acoustic guitar or your steel string in this case um i don't know if it was 12 i don't think so no but beautiful all right um let's move on um there's not much i can say you know i mean it's just like mesmerizing music um last one here um we're gonna do and i've um heard these uh logins and messina and i think they were part of um no, no, they were not part of uh, We Are The World. That was Hollow Notes. Um, sitting in is the album Danny's Song, Loggins and Messina, 
The last one, uh, I did a, an entire marathon for Graveyard. It was an amazing experience. So um, thanks for that again, Graveyard. But uh, this is Danny's song by Loggins and Messina from 1971 album Sitting In. Um, Jim Messina, formerly of Buff Buffalo Springfield and Poco, I remember Poco, the bass player from Poco, joined the Eagles, was working as an independent record producer for Columbia Records in 1970 when he met Kenny Loggins, a little-known singer, songwriter, and guitar, guitar player who was signed to ABC Dunhill after as a staff songwriter. The two, record, um, re the two recorded a number of Loggins compositions in Messina's home living room when Columbia signed Loggins to a six-album contract with the assistance of Messina. Recording began in earnest um, for Loggins' debut album with Messina as producer. Messina originally intended to lead his name to the Loggins project only to help introduce the unknown Loggins to Messina's well-established Buffalo Springfield and Pocky audiences. However, by the time the album was completed, Messina had contributed so much to the album in terms of songwriting arrangements and instrumentation and vocals that an accidental duo was born. They recorded six albums through 1976. That's awesome. Thank you so much for that um, explanation. You know, because I really like these guys. I like them separately and I like them together. Their music is just like Kenny Loggins is freaking amazing. And um uh so is Messina. So let's uh let's listen to this one. Um setting in Danny's song. Here we go. <laughs> People smile and tell me I'm a lucky one And we've just begun Think I'm gonna have a son He will be like she and me as free as a dove Conceived in love Sun is gonna shine above Even though we ain't got money I'm so in love with you, honey, and everything will bring a chain of love. And in the morning when I rise, you bring a tear of joy to my eyes and tell me everything's gonna be alright. Seems as though a month ago I was baby cat. Never got high Oh, was a sorry guy But now a smile, a face, a girl that shares my name Yeah, and now I'm through with the game This boy will never be the same And even though we ain't got money I'm so in love with you, honey And everything will bring a change In the morning when I rise Bring a tear of joy to my eyes And tell me everything's gonna be alright Pisces, Virgo, rising is a very good sign Strong and kind And the little boy is mine Now I see a family there once was none Now it just begun Yeah, we're gonna fly to the sun And even though we ain't got money I'm so in love with you, honey And everything will bring a chain of love, love. And in the morning when I rise You bring a tear girl who holds the world in a paper cup Drink it up Love her and she'll bring you luck 
And if you find she helps your man, buddy, take her home. Yeah, don't you live alone. Try to earn what lovers own. And even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. And everything will bring a change. So good. Beautifully, beautifully sung and the harmonies, you know, of them both. That fiddle, you know, um, or the violin, you know, beautifully um, just incorporated into this acoustic song. Like all these songs, you know, um, they're very short and I, I've, I've kind of like... Notice that the marathon is on the shorter side, but hey, let's maybe take advantage of that because maybe a lot of people get intimidated when they see, you know, oh my God, this video is 59 minutes. I'm not going to watch that, you know, so maybe if they're shorter, um, we'll get more people to listen to them. All these songs, I'm, I'm sure they're very loved and, you know, and uh, I'm sure this is going to get a lot of views. So, um, and it's, there's not a lot I can say, you know, I can only appreciate it for what it is. And uh, there's not anything to analyze or, you know, like it's just beautiful music. It's very simple. Um, yet it's very complicated, you know, um, very, the harmony is the singing is very, you have to be very skilled to pull it off. And, and, uh, I think, um, that's like the nature of this marathon, you know, like the, the acoustic, um, there's just like, there's not all this crazy stuff that we usually listen to. And I think it's very, very nice to do just for a change of pace. I think Crosby, Stills and Nash, I mean, those three harmonies, um, are just like amazing, you know, like how they pull these off and also to think of them, you know, and, um, Dan Fogelberg, beautiful duet there, um, wonderful song. Um, then Bread, also beautiful, like about the diary, you know, and uh, just a beautiful message. Um, Don McLean, very nice, and honestly, like I said, if you wouldn't have provided me with that with that info, I wouldn't have. I mean, I still have, would have loved this song because it's beautiful, but um, it gave me such more meaning the lyrics you know and danny's song well i mean what can you say you know those two but i also love i love their acoustic stuff but i also love the more you know the stuff where they you know um do be, they become really like you know like fusiony you know jazz fusion you know great rock and roll um kenny loggins and jim messina amazing stuff so um yeah can't wait to do more of them as well Thank you so much, Jeffrey. This was a very, very relaxing marathon. It's also the end of the day. You know, um, uh, this is about it. Like, I'm not going to record anything else for the day. And this was just a beautiful, relaxing five songs, you know, to just like... So I hope this, you know, I hope that you, I hope everybody likes this and can put this on and listen to it. And I, I think I didn't even interrupt the songs, you know, cause they're so short and they're so simple and beautiful. And, you know, I didn't want to like interrupt that, you know? <laughs> so I hope that's okay. Um, um, also I hope I don't get into trouble with YouTube because, you know, usually it says like you have to interrupt the music because otherwise you're not converting the, uh, 
you know, you're not making fair use of it. But let's see what happens. You know, I, I, I think I've, um, I've uh, good, good faith that everything's going to be fine. You know, um, as long as they don't, <laughs> like the other, the other weekend, they, they blocked, um, like thirty marathons, and it was just very stressful because. But I figured it out now. I figured out what to write, what to do, what to, uh, you know, what to say, these record companies. And uh, yeah, only like, I think four stayed blocked because uh, they still had to like go through some some stuff. But usually um, I'm pretty much uh, like well versed in how to approach the problem when they get blocked, you know. Um yeah, I mean, what else to say? This is just very, this is amazing and inspiring to grab your acoustic guitar and just, you know, write um, and not write any riffs. Uh, I love to play like this, you know, finger style, you know, or you know, you just like chords and, you know, arpeggiate and uh, and come up with something beautiful. And I love the, the yeah, I love how they also, Added some orchestration, you know, violins and stuff, and uh, a little bit of percussion. Very beautiful, very calming. So these songs, I'm definitely going to keep them in this list that they are already. And, uh, you know, if I want to relax, I put on some Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And Dan Fogelberg, even though I said Bogle, <laughs> Fogelberg, Bread, Don McLean, and Loggins and Messina really really beautiful thank you again jeffrey let me know what you thought which one is your favorite one of these i mean they're all beautiful you know um uh, but what which is the one that you relate to the most and what's the one that uh made you maybe a fan of these you know because i know all these artists have heavier stuff as well you know so um but yeah let me know what you think and uh thank you so much for your support thank you for liking the the, the channel you know for giving it a thumbs up even if you give it a thumbs down, you know, and um, for subscribing to the channel, it does help out tremendously. Thank you so much, because every time a person subscribes, um, the channel becomes obviously bigger, but also that changes the algorithm. So the videos get pushed out more to more people, you know, and that's what we want. We don't want them to, you know, just die on YouTube and nobody like sees them, because if you don't actively look um most of these videos are not monetized so youtube is not making any money so that's why youtube doesn't push them out they, they youtube doesn't recommend these videos that's the problem that's why sometimes you know one video um gets 14,000 views or 60,000 views and the the next video that we make it's like 400 views because simply if you don't look for them you won't you won't find them you know that's the kind of like the bummer about the algorithm the algorithm but well you know um that's why i always uh i recommend to subscribe if you really like the content if you like what's being done here on this channel then i i can only say you know try and subscribe and uh, remember it is free of charge you know google is not charging you anything and um and also the artists make their money, you know. Um, uh, it's not monetized for YouTube or for me, but the artists, they get paid. So I think that's um, that's already, you know, um, fair for me, you know, because it's not my media. I'm just a spectator here uh, like you guys. So thank you so much again for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Jeff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.